We are here for the premiere of season 10 of Sea of Thieves. This is one of the most important videos that is going to be surfacing YouTube at the moment for this game. I'm so nervous for multiple reasons. The channel, the game, just everything. Um, hopefully there's some new features that we don't know. And hopefully this is the best reveal and preview ever. So let's 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 give it a watch. Hello and welcome to the Sea of Thieves Season 10 preview. We're going to be hearing from the team here at Rare as they give us the lowdown on the headline features coming to Sea of Thieves as part of Season 10. With a whole new way to engage in social play, to a competitive experience with oh. the shared world, and an exciting new feature that will fundamentally change how you play the game. We are bringing an incredible amount of new features to Season 10. So I'm so started, nervous. Let's go over to Sea of Thieves creative director, oh. Mike Chapman. Big Mike. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Firstly, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for your patience and understanding regarding the delay to Season 10. We know that Season 9 has run exceptionally long. But what this means is that season 10 will now very much be a super season. Ooh. When season 10 launches on October 19th, it will feature the experience originally planned for season 10. But for November, November will include the experience we planned for season 11. And for December, something a little bit different, a new way to play and enjoy Sea of Thieves, something we've been thinking about for a very long time. Ah. But for now, I'm going to hand over Interesting. to Shelley and James, who will talk you through the first feature that will be launching with Season 10 on October 9th. Give me, give me the source. Guilds. Give me the source. Guilds, let's go. In season 10, we're introducing Guilds, which is a new way for players to form meaningful bonds beyond their immediate crew okay. and builds on the uniquely engaging social gameplay of Sea of Thieves. We believe that being part of a crew and playing together is one of the best ways to experience Sea of okay. Thieves. We wanted to bring that experience to more players more regularly. Guilds bring players mm -hmm. together under a shared name and identity with common goals, which really gives players that framework to experience the best of the shared social gameplay. With guilds, you can have 24 of your friends or enemies, if you like to keep them close, in the guild with you at any one time. We kept it at 24, so the experience was an intimate affair, making sure that you knew everyone who was contributing to your success. Any captain who has their own ship is able to mm. create a new guild because you need okay. the very first ship to be pledged into the guild. But beyond that, anyone right. can join the guild, whether they're a captain or not. When you set up a guild, you get to choose a few unique properties on it. You get to give it a name, something unique to speak to your bounty members. hunters. We shall bail. We shall bail sure together. That's brilliant. Striving for the same goal. And also, you can choose the branding, the pictures, the iconography that really will show your guild off. Once you okay. join the guild, you can pledge any of your captainships into the guild. And you can also choose whether or not to share it with your guildmates. If you share it, they can take it out even when you're not online. All your what? and your identity, all your trinkets and paintings, everything will be added huh. it. And they can even progress the So you guys are going to be able to sail the Night Prowler. Let's go. <laughs> no matter whether you want to go and collect loot, whether you want to fight under the Oh, that's mass, animated now. Any action you take in the Sea of Thieves will progress your milestones forward. Even better... You can progress while you're offline. Your friends can be sailing under your guild banner when you're away on holiday or asleep. So you'll come oh. back refreshed and possibly with a shiny new hat. Oh, the outfit Everyone looks so sick. What the fuck? <laughs> guild reputation together, you will unlock new and unique rewards for you. It's cool ship set. And nice and even earn a distinction. Nice color. 100 levels of reputation, unlocking further rewards. Guilds okay. brings players together like never before, and we're super excited to see the guilds you create when Season 10 launches on October 19th. New outfits and things. Okay. In Skull November, of the Siren of Song. Season 10, we're launching a brand new voyage called the Skull of Siren Song. The Skull of Siren Song is our first competitive voyage, and it'll see players share the same treasure maps and compete and race to collect a single piece of treasure. Like other world events, huh. the Skull of Siren Song will appear randomly throughout your session. And when it's active, you'll see this ghostly note appear pinned into the mast. And you can All interact right. with that, opt your crew into the event, and take part. When this voyage becomes active, and you see that note on your mast, you know that every other crew in the server is also seeing that. 
and they become potential rivals as you all seek out the skull of Siren Song. This sense of mystery around the other crew okay. may or may not be hunting down the same treasure as you provides real tension, especially to the start of these shows. Are you looking forward to the next big Sea of Thieves update? Worried your PC might not be able to handle it? Well, look no further than longtime partner of the channel Apex Gaming PCs. From Swabby, Quartermaster, and Captain, choose from any of the three reasonably priced machines to best suit your needs. Like some of the components in the Quartermaster build, but want to upgrade the components that matter to you? Well, I'm pleased to tell you that all PCs are completely customizable from the components to accessories. Build a PC that suits you. Right now, if you use code Mystique, you could be saving yourself a huge chunk of change off of your next purchase, so click the link at the top of the description or pin comment now to find out more. Spend much of your time scanning the horizon, searching for sails that could be approaching with the view of taking your hard-earned treasure. So once you've accepted the voyage, the what? ghost of Captain Briggsy will appear. Oh, it's... Okay. ...on the hunt for the skull of Siren Song. So it's this high-intensity race for all crews headed towards this one piece of treasure. At the start of the voyage, every crew who opts in will receive two maps. One leads to a key and the other to a chest. And once players... <laughs> oh, what? Teams, ...they have to combine them to open the chest and retrieve the skull of Siren Song. So in the early stages that of the chest voyage, looks sick. one crew might have the key and another might have the chest. And at any point, these items could come together or change hands or a new ship may arrive and take over. And this kind of unpredictability makes these stages really exciting as no one's quite sure what's about to happen. And you have to react to all sorts Dude, of... Dude, you missed the board. You're terror, <laughs> The quest isn't over till it's over. Someone might have the key, someone might have the chest. But you can see the beacons in the sky. You can. Oh, them on the this is table. awesome! You what can the hell? Ultimately, sail well, play well together as a crew, and intercept them and steal the treasure for yourself. Once the chest has been opened, That's... the skull of Siren Song belongs to the crew who opened it. At least for now. This new item is a powerful weapon that can be used against other crews to defend your ship, but it also comes with its own set of challenges. So once you've Whoa. got the skull on board, you have to protect it with your crew. But that skull is cursed, and that's going to make your ship slow down, which means other crews will slowly start to That is so, so sick. Or whether you're chasing after the skull, it's not over until it's over. This slowing down of the lead ship makes for some really tense moments as you almost can't avoid combat. We think this voyage is really exciting because it's a more focused, competitive voyage that can take place as part of your normal Sea of Thieves sessions. The unpredictable nature of mm. where it's going to start. I like it, I like it. Be battling you for this treasure is an exciting moment to have. And crews will have to adapt and react to this. That skull looks sick, the though. To claim the skull for themselves. We're really excited to see the Skull of Siren Song bring players I wonder how much it sells for, voyage, though. And you'll be able to play it yourself in November. That has got to sell for crazy amounts. So that is the season 11. Great new experiences coming to season 10. Social play has always been at the heart of Sea of Thieves, and that's why we're so excited to bring player created guilds to the game. All right, so guilds Just is release, racing to find the treasure against, and then the crew. November update is, is the why skull. We're so excited for the skull of Siren Song. But as we look to December, we've got something a little bit different planned. Okay, as we look back on the journey we've been on creating Sea of Thieves right from our original launch. Back in March 2018 to where that t-shirt looks sick though game and its community one of the most passionate and resounding pieces of feedback from both existing fans but also players intrigued by sea of thieves is the desire to play outside of the shared world the ability to experience pirate adventures they're not doing PV servers or just with your chosen friends no this is something we've thought long and hard about do not how do we provide players with the ability to do that? while also safeguarding what's so unique and do, magical please don't do pv servers after lots of consideration we believe we've got the answer to that in safer seas safer seas is a new way of playing and enjoying sea of thieves it allows you to play alone or with up to three chosen friends in a private world in sea of thieves What's really important to stress is that the game that Sea of Thieves represents today, all of that shared world magic of the game, that continues to be the primary way of playing the game. But the adventure mode in Sea of Thieves will now give you two distinct options. High Seas, the game as it is today, 
but also safer season, that new way to play and enjoy the game. Over the last five years of creating Sea of Thieves, the game has grown into this huge experience with so many diverse aspects to it. And the reality of that is we want to teach people how to play the game, but we also don't want to lose the joy of discovery. So the way we think about Safer Seas is as a great way to learn the essentials of Sea of Thieves. Okay, that's the better. And the pace of the game before they're moving on to high seas. And alongside allowing right. newer players to get to grips with the game, it also allows experienced players to truly immerse themselves in the world and take it at their own pace. Experiment I wonder if commendations are going to be able to be farmed in this. So we see Safer Seas as very much a complementary way of enjoying Sea of Thieves, a new way to enjoy the game with your friends or to immerse yourself in the world. Safer Seas won't evolve separately with its own unique features. It just provides that new window into experiencing Sea of Thieves for the first time. So it said limited features, what right? Progression means in Safer Seas. As I mentioned earlier, we want this to be a way to learn about the game, learn about the systems and how to progress in the game. It's please be like half the rep or like a quarter. Trading companies but it will be at 30% of the value of what you'd earn in high Yeah, well, mm, so is that, like, reduced enough? I don't even think so, man. In terms of progression in trading companies, your progression will be limited to level 40. Who? So the choice with that cap is very much deliberate. We what about gold? No? Experience all the multitude of unique voyages across those trading companies and experience what it feels like to move up through the promotion. I'm concerned, can't lie. Companies. But crucially you won't be able to become a pirate legend in Safer Seas. And right. in fact, the Athena's Fortune trading company that represents pirate legends, its voyages, its activities, commendations, rewards, won't be available So at all other commendations in, like... So alongside that, there's a whole host... Hold on, I've got to pause this. Become exclusive to high seas. Become pirate legend. Reptation gold for Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I've got, yeah, Captain Hero ship, part of the guild... So no emissaries. Okay, that is that's good. And no live event. That we don't believe are right for safer seas. Well, so get rid of Fort of the Damned. The Reaper's bonus. No. And the ability to play as the I'm thinking Fort of the Damned. If you can farm Fort of the Damned in this mode, that is crazy. The ability to purchase and captain your own ship. The ability to join one of these newly added player created Oh, I'm I'm concerned, man. I am concerned. These are features that will remain solely available on high seas. So high seas very much remains that primary and aspirational mode of play in Sea of Thieves. But safer seas provides you this alternative way to learn the basics, the rhythm and pace. Right, hold up. You can... You earn seasonal renown at the same rate. Hold up. So gold, you still earn gold. So you get gold. And rep, at the, so that's the 30%. So you can still get a level 40. It doesn't matter if you're already like maxed like me. Not a flex, just saying. Uh, play all tool tales. Yeah, that's fine. It should be a tool tale mode anyway. Work towards all applicable commendations and achievements. No way. Because you could just farm the Fort of Fortune commendation if that's still... I mean, that's, if that's still there. Purchase cosmetics from that. No, this is this. The they've got. A, I am. I'm concerned, but they could do it in a way which is good for the game. It's very risky. I'm not saying it's wrong. Oh, this is gonna divide people. But if they disable what? No, there's a world event there. I just saw a skull fort. No, this is this is not. This is not okay. If you can do four fortunes. Fort the dams, anything without the worry of scanning the horizon for other unknown players, we believe that safer seas will lend itself. A I had a feeling when they said about the this is very season your story the December update or whatever. We believe that complements the adventure that you can have on the high seas. This is the right time to bring safer seas to the game. The game over the years has evolved to be so big and diverse with all of these wonderful experiences on offer. We want to provide an effective way for new players to come into the game. I, I agree with this. No, I do agree. I think it'd be and really good if it was like a tool tale mode, reduce gold, reduce blah, blah, blah. That is fine. I have no problem with that. I think the commendations, if they limit them correctly, will be fine. I think everyone will be fine if the restrictions in place are good enough.
Okay. So this. With these three headline right, features yeah. arriving as part of Sea of Thieves Season 10, this is going to be our biggest season ever. On okay. October 19th, with guilds, you'll be able to play with others under a shared identity, creating meaningful social bonds, all while engaging in a new progression route that will unlock some incredible new rewards. In November, with the Skull of Siren song, you can take part in a fast-paced adventure, battling against other crews in an action-packed race to be the first to claim a powerful ancient artifact. And in December, with Safer Seas, you'll have the option to head out onto the Sea of Thieves and engage with the world at your own Okay, I think that's by far the most controversial thing. one of our many tall tales. This will allow you to experience a large portion of Sea of Thieves in your own way. We're incredibly excited for you all to experience the new features that we've outlined here today. Okay. But this, of course, is just part of what we're bringing with season all right. two. Keep an eye on our social channels for more information about. If there's if there's more than this, this is going to be good. I, I that's fine. Features we've mentioned today. We are now at the end of this season ten preview. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the seas. Okay. I think. So, just quickly, I'll, I'll brush over it, and then you can be on your way. Uh, first release, guilds, gonna be good, I think. If done correctly, we'll be fine. There's nothing new in the game, from what I can tell, so there's no actual... Unless there is, and uh, they didn't announce it here today. There's no actual new content. It's more like the social options of guilds is... It'd be fine, new progression. But again, is it gonna cure that burnout? But... Maybe. I, I think it would be good regardless. It, I, I, it's coming to the game and I'm happy about it. You guys are going to be able to sell the Night Prowler. It's going to be good. The second feature, I think, is awesome. I, I have no complaints here. That is going to be so fun. So It's going to be like so exciting to play. So exciting to watch as well. That's important for me and a lot of content creators on this game. It's going to be so exciting to watch. The third feature... It's so risky, though. I think it's going to be so controversial. They need to limit things like Fort of the Damned, Fort of Fortunes, things like that, for sure. That has to be limited because they can just be farmed regardless. Have you like? There's a two-minute Fort of the Damned out there. If you can just cycle Fort of the Damned, it doesn't matter about your uh, the lost gold multiplier. You're still getting 30% of that. And if you can cycle them quick enough, you could make up for the time you'd lose in a fight. So, slightly concerning on that one. I Overall, I think it's a good idea. I think that tool tale mode and uh, introduction to the game, getting used to voyages, getting used to certain things like that, is good. And certain world events will be good for players to experience on their own. So that when they go into high seas, they can do it you know, better and they can have that knowledge. That is absolutely perfect. It's just my... The progression to certain commendations, there are some out there which are so grindy because they're in the main world that will then become non-grindy in high seas. Fish, I mean, fi like, I don't mind about the fishing stuff because fishing, you know, doing it in main world, it, it, there's a risk to it. But if you can do it in high seas, I have no problem with that because if you want to go fishing, you ultimately just wanted a chilled experience anyway. So, risky, but I'm excited Nonetheless, I think it's going to be good. I cannot wait to stream and play more of this game that I love. And that is where most of my comments, com comments come from, is a, a place of passion and a place of enjoyment and love for the game. You know, I'm in a position where the game has... Uh, uh, I've managed to partner with the game and things like that, and I'm so grateful for that. So if I can give constructive feedback, which I think will be useful in heading these features forward i will you know i'm not gonna sugarcoat things but yes i'm con concerned about the final feature but i think if done right it will be very very good for the game and new players alike so yeah that is it from me today people if you enjoyed i will uh i'll see you guys in the next one and uh